everyone to another edition of Media Match. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, our theme is brag about it, books, movies, and TV shows that are either very long or very short. I'm Faye, your host today, and we have Elizabeth here with us. Um, she is going to talk about The Way of Kings, which is book one in the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. It clocks in at a whopping 1,252 pages. So Elizabeth, tell us about this book. This book is so much fun because Brandon Sanderson is one of the most creative and like intense world builders I've ever read. And I will say all 1,200 of those pages are really dedicated to world building and to exploring the world. Now that I'm in the second one, the second one has far more plot. So it was nice to kind of be able to follow all of our characters. There are several characters with three being our main ones, Kaladin, Dalinar, and Shallan, all of who live in this world of Roshar. Um, two of our main characters, Kaladin and Dalinar, are fighting a war, one as a slave, one as a soldier. And they're both discovering that they each have powers that used to belong to the now dead gods. These dead gods betrayed humankind and having those powers is a sin. It's a crime. You don't want it. It's this big, horrible thing. Shallon, our female character, is a scholar. She's discovering that she also has these powers of the dead gods, but she's finding it in more of a scholarly pursuit. Her chapters are more about the are more of a narrative device to explore the world around us and to explore the history of these dead gods, where Dalinar and Kaladin are each more action-based. So you get a nice exploration of the world, of the war, of the history and the lore. And it really is one of the most complete and like full worlds. These characters are complete individuals. I don't know what they're gonna do next, but every choice makes sense. I feel like they're my friends. I like, I miss them, I'm not reading them. I like hanging out with them. And the world itself doesn't have any holes. It is a complete and absolute masterpiece of world building. So if you really like kind of Lord of the Rings, Tolkien style worlds that are complete on their own, anything with Brandon Sanderson, but especially this book will fill that need. That sounds amazing. So why did you choose this as a recommendation? This is the biggest book I've ever read. <laughs> and I had finished it when the um, call for recommendation came out. I actually had a hard time finishing this book on my own. I gave it to my sister for Christmas, thinking we could do a buddy read. And if I had somebody else like checking my progress, I would read it. She read the whole thing in maybe two weeks. And she was like, no, you're so good. You have to get through it. And it was like kind of a slog. If I can call a slog like fun. It was a loving, it was a loving kind of tedious thing to do. Although I am in the second book, which is just as long and it's far more fun because I think we've established ourselves and we've established the world. So we can just get into like the meat of the plot. But yeah, my sister read it in like two weeks. She's like, this is incredible. I really want you to finish it. We want to talk about it. So I finally finished it and it really is incredible. And I'm in the second one now and it's even better. Wow, <laughs> well done. Um, so what is your favorite part? My favorite part in the first book, um, I think it would be when Shallon, the female character, discovers her kind of otherworldly powers because she's the first, out of all of our three characters, she's the last to discover it, but the first to just accept it. Just be like, I, I whatever, I'm into it. Like, let's have some powers, which I really appreciate in a character instead of fighting it or being confused by it. She just like 100% is into it. So she kind of explores the powers th that she has, which are, they each have separate powers held by the dead gods, but they're each incredibly powerful. Shallon just dives right into it. So her first fall into the power, she falls into a place called Shadesmere, which is like, it's the home of the gods, essentially. It's like the, a different dimension that overlays the world they're in and it's where the gods and the powers live. So she falls into it, discovers she can manipulate it, comes back out and is like into it, 100% ready to rock and roll. And she just dives into this like newfound power that she has. So that chapter was really fun. Well, thank you so much. That sounds like a really cool book. And thank you all for watching another edition of Media Match. Of course.